we want to find the length of the entire perimeter of the region inside r equals five sine theta, graphed here in blue, but outside r equals three, graphed here in red. Let's first identify the region, and then we'll find the length of the entire perimeter. Again, the region that is inside the blue circle, but outside the red circle, would be this region here. And our goal is to find the entire length of the perimeter of this region, which would be this length and this length. We'll find this length using the arc length formula L equals the integral of the square root of R squared plus the R d theta squared integrated with respect to theta from alpha to beta. Where alpha and beta, the limits of integration would be the angle that passes through this point of intersection in the first quadrant and this point of intersection in the second quadrant. So alpha would be this angle here in the first quadrant and beta would be this angle here in the second quadrant. But notice how this piece of the perimeter will be an arc length from r equals five sine theta and this length will be an arc length from r equals three. So our integral will actually have two square roots to find the length of the entire perimeter. But let's begin by determining alpha and beta, which will give us the limits of integration. Again, the angles would have to pass through these two points of intersection, which would occur when these two equations have the same value of r. And since they're both solved for r, these angles would satisfy the equation five sine theta equals three. So if we divide both sides by five, we have sine theta equals three-fifths. Having a sine function value of three-fifths will not give us a nice reference angle or an angle we can find on the unit circle. So we'll have to use the calculator. So to solve this for theta, we'll take inverse sine of both sides. So we'd have inverse sine of sine theta equals inverse sine of three-fifths. And therefore, theta equals inverse sine of three-fifths. Now remember though, the output or range of inverse sine is from negative pi over two to pi over two radians. So the calculator is only going to give us angle alpha. We'll have to determine angle beta on our own. Let's first verify we're in radian mode. So we'll press the mode key. Notice how radian is highlighted. So we'll go back to the home screen and press the second sign for inverse sine three-fifths. Close parenthesis and enter. So angle theta in the first quadrant is approximately 0 0.6435 radians. Which again would be this angle here. Now here we have an option. We could use angle beta here by taking pi radians, half a revolution, and subtracting 0 0.6435 radians but notice how this region and perimeter are symmetrical across the y-axis. So instead of using this angle for angle beta, what we could do is integrate from alpha to pi over two radians, this angle here, and notice how that would give us half of the perimeter. If we multiply that by two, we could then find the entire perimeter. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's let pi over two radians be equal to beta, and then we'll just double that length rather than use this angle here. And now as we mentioned earlier, this is actually two arc lengths based upon the two equations. So let's find r and dr d theta for both equation. So if we have r, let's call it r sub one, equals five sine theta. Notice that dr sub one d theta would be equal to five cosine theta. And if we let r sub two be equal to three, Notice that dr sub two d theta would be equal to zero. Now we have all the information we need in order to find the entire perimeter. Let's call it p for perimeter. We'll have p equals two times the integral from zero point six four three five to pi over two of the square root of r sub one squared, that would be five sine theta squared plus dr d theta squared, which would be five cosine theta squared plus 
the square root of r sub 2 squared plus dr sub 2 d theta squared, which would be 0 squared. Now that we have this set up, let's go and evaluate this on the next slide. So here we'd have the square root of this would be 25 sine squared theta plus here we'd have 25 cosine squared theta and here we just have the square root of 9 which would be 3. And now looking at these two terms here, if we factored out 25, we'd have 25 times the quantity sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta. We should recognize this would be one, so this simplifies to the square root of 25, which equals five. So we have two times the integral of five plus three, which is equal to eight. So if we want, we could factor out the eight and write this as 16 times the integral of one d theta So the antiderivative of one with respect to theta would just be theta. So we have 16 theta. So when theta is pi over two, of course we just have pi over two. And then when theta is approximately 0 0.6435, we just have 0 0.6435. And now we'll go to the calculator. 16 times pi divided by two minus point six four three five which is approximately fourteen point eight three six seven which would be the length of the entire perimeter of our region. So again this is the length of the perimeter of the yellow region outlined here in blue. I hope you found this helpful.